In the distant quiet of space, where even sound is afraid to exist, something unusual began to shimmer. A tiny speck of light, blue at the center, surrounded by a white shell dot it pulsed slowly. Like a heartbeat, the sun was the first to sense it. A ripple passed through the solar winds, something he had never felt before. He magnified his light toward the object, trying to understand what it was. Not a comet, not an asteroid, it was alive. The sun sent a silent alert through the energy waves that connected him to the planets. One by one, the planets turned their gaze toward the mysterious object. Jupiter was watching from far away, storms swelling like questioning eyebrows. He sensed the object's strange composition. It did not behave like rock or gas. It resisted gravitational pull. It resisted being scanned. Whatever it was, it knew how to hide. Saturn focused carefully. The reflection of the object shimmered on his rings. He observed that the white shell looked biological, not mineral, as if something protected the blue core inside. The moon, always loyal to Earth, positioned himself closer, curiosity turning into concern. He wasn't sure what it was, but it didn't feel friendly. Earth felt something he hadn't felt in millions of years. Fear. If this thing entered his atmosphere, if it touched his oceans, if it mixed with life, Earth's forests trembled. Clouds thickened around him like a nervous breath. But space had no time for panic. The object drifted again, very slowly, almost like it was choosing a direction. No rocket, no thrusters. Yet it moved with intention. Jupiter spoke to the others through gravity waves. He believed the object was scanning the solar system, detecting energy. Searching for warmth. Saturn had a different theory. He believed the object was hunting, surveying planets like prey. Saturn's ring slowed, showing his seriousness. Earth hesitated to speak, but he finally whispered his fear. What if this thing was headed toward him? No one had answers. The sun ordered everyone to remain calm, but his own flame shook, giving him away. The object pulsed again, a small flash, like a blink dot in that moment, every planet understood. This thing wasn't drifting through their system. It had entered their system with a purpose. Earth felt a chill ripple through his atmosphere. He imagined oceans freezing, forests withering into dust, humans panicking. The moon stayed close, ready to protect Earth in whatever small way he could. Jupiter spread his storms wide, preparing to intercept. Saturn tilted his rings into a defensive arc. Space no longer felt eternal. It felt like a battlefield dot then the object changed direction sharply and began moving toward the inner planets earth's heart sank whatever this thing was it had chosen a path and earth feared that path ended with him the virus kept pulsing dot blue white blue white like a heartbeat like a countdown The virus did not drift, it aimed. The closer it came, the brighter it glowed. A soft vibration filled space, a pulse that felt like emotion. Jupiter moved first. He extended his gravity, attempting to pull the virus into his atmosphere. No object had ever escaped Jupiter's pull. For a moment, it seemed to work. But the virus reacted dot it split into hundreds of glowing fragments passed right through Jupiter's magnetic field, then reassembled on the other side. Whole and untouched dot for the first time in millennia. Jupiter was speechless, a tremor spread through the solar system. Earth stared at the virus as it moved closer. Something deep inside him began to collapse. His oceans felt heavier, his winds weaker. He imagined the blue core landing on his surface, infecting water, trees, animals, oh God, humans. We have to get out of here. Mars tried to encourage Earth, saying it might not be heading toward him. Maybe it was simply passing through. But Earth couldn't believe that. The virus pulsed brighter every time it faced Earth. Saturn watched like an elder. He noticed something no one else did. The virus was absorbing traces of radiation. Tiny particles of heat disappeared wherever it passed. Without warning, Venus reacted. 
Her atmosphere, normally boiling hot, began to freeze at the upper layers. A thin veil of frost formed where heat used to dominate. The sun jolted with alarm. His flames dimmed. His energy dipped. The virus was feeding. Earth trembled. If the virus could drain heat from Venus and the sun, then no planet was safe. Earth made a decision that shocked everyone. He attempted communication. He emitted a gentle radio signal, not of fear, but of peace. A simple expression, we are alive, do not harm us. The virus stopped, dot it hovered, silent, motionless dot, then it projected something unexpected dot images. Holograms dot a frozen, planet, cracked, lifeless, glaciers swallowing entire continents, then. Another image, a star exploding, the planets, understood dot this thing, came from a dead star system, the virus was not an invader dot it was a refugee, a survivor of extinction, searching for warmth, for life, for a home, Earth's ocean softened, he knew what it meant to protect life, the moon leaned closer, proud of Earth, even Jupiter lowered his storms, But then, another image appeared, Perth, completely frozen. The virus communicated one truth, to survive. It would drain the sun dot if the sun dimmed. Earth would freeze. Life would collapse. The sun looked at the virus. He knew what he had to do dot. He prepared to burn hotter, to push the virus away. Even if it cost him everything dot, Earth shouted in panic, begging him not to sacrifice himself. Without the sun, there would be no warmth, no oceans, no life. But the virus continued moving, faster, brighter, closer. The planets watched helplessly. The sun braced for impact dot in space. For the first time in billions of years, held its breath. If you like my work, please like and subscribe to this channel. Your support motivates me to create even better videos for you in the future.